What I ask about Sanchez, tomorrow's game, how do you approach that? Are you taking a full squad? Or how, do you, how do you play a game against a, a League One team? We want to win. We know what Cups are. Um, Manchester United played, I think, a couple of years ago at Yeovil, and they know the difficulties they felt. So we have to go with a, with a very strong team. We are going to to rest a couple of players. We have also a couple with little problems that uh, we want to try to resolve to have them without problems for the next matches coming in, in February, Premier League, but also Champions League. But a part of that, we go with a very, with a very strong team. You've, you've got Alexis Sanchez. Could yeah. you say what he will bring to your squad? You know, because uh, he's in England for quite a long time. I think everybody knows the player. The player he is. I think everybody knows what he did. What he did at Arsenal for not to speak what he did before in Spain or in Italy, but in the Premier League he showed already the quality he has. So we, we got one of the best attacking players in, in the world. And I think he's, he's very important for us because we want to have the best possible players. You mentioned uh, a couple of weeks ago that you may make a big signing in the summer. Um, once again, Cristiano Ronaldo's name has been linked with Manchester United. Could you explain if there is a club position regarding bringing him back here or whether you'd be interested in signing him if he was available? You know, I think with the moment Real Madrid is leaving now, I think I should be the last one to add some fuel to the fire. Madrid is on fire. You know, the results are not are not good. And uh, it's a club where I, I work three years. I care about the club. I'm the last one to add, to add fire. So to put some water on the fire, I would say Cristiano is, is the kind of player that every manager wants, every club wants, but only one manager can have and only one club can have. Zidane and Real Madrid. That's my, that's my feeling. Jose, on Alexis Sanchez, what did you say to him to convince him to come to Manchester United? And nothing. I think nothing at all. You didn't talk to him. No. And from the United fans' perspective, where where do you see his strengths lying in your team? Where do you see him playing for you? In which position? Everywhere in the attacking positions. Everywhere. I know him for many many years. I was with him in Italy. When he was at Udinese, I was at Inter. I was with him in Spain. When I was in Real, he was at Barcelona. I was with him in England. When I was at Chelsea and Manchester United, he was at, uh, at Arsenal. So our, our careers are almost made in the same countries at, at simultaneously. So I know him very, very well. I saw him play on the right, on the left, as a striker and behind the striker. And these this are Alexis, Alexis' positions. I saw him play in different uh, tactical systems. I saw him play with different philosophies of different managers. Uh, I saw him successful in every country, with every manager, with every system, in every position. So. Um, he's a player that becomes more than a player because, because of that, because of that uh, multifunctionality. He can play in every position in, in attack. I would say he can play in four different positions. And regrets that you perhaps didn't see the best of Henry Mkhitaryan over a consistent basis. Will, will Arsenal be a move where we see kind of the real player more consistently, do you think? It would it be a good move for him? You know, I think, I think it was a fantastic deal. 
and a fantastic deal is only a fantastic deal if it's good for everybody. I think United made a fantastic deal. Arsenal made a fantastic deal. Uh, I lost a fantastic player. Mr. Wenger lost a fantastic player. I got a fantastic player. Mr. Wenger got a fantastic player. Alexis changed from a fantastic club to a giant club. And Mickey changed, uh, but changed also for a fantastic club. So I think it was a great deal for, uh, for everybody. Uh, I believe that Mickey is going to be even better than he was with us. Why? Because one and a half years in England, one and a half years in the Premier League, adapted, knows, um, you know, Arsenal, the way they they play, the way they sing. I think it's, it's a good move. It's a good move for, for everybody. That's why that's why I'm I'm also happy for uh, for Miki Tarjan. Could he perform better with us? Could I take more from from him, from his talent, maybe. Could he give a little bit uh, more also to try to adapt uh, to us, maybe. But I don't think regrets. I think he is in our, in our history. He, he did important things uh, for us. So good feeling for everybody. And um, a very pacific transfer between two rivals in the same country, which is something that I want to say should happen more times. Jose, will Sanchez be part of the squad to go to Yeovil? Yeah. And that being the case, then, you're already integrating him straight into the squad. Inevitably, maybe other players will be thinking, is that the end of me here? Do you feel that there's room for everybody, or do you feel that you might have to move players out now because of Sanchez's arrival? This is, the, this is live in big clubs. This is live in big clubs. In, in, in big clubs, you have big players in big clubs you have you have competition in big clubs you have responsibilities um, you have to perform always you have to try to go to every competition um, in a serious way you cannot do that with 11 players it's, it's, it's absolutely impossible to do it with 11 players so the players in big clubs they know that the squad is made of uh, of 20 or 20 something where everybody wants to play and where there is space for for everybody what we cannot do is to play 12 at the same time start with 12 a certain match but um, space for everybody and needed for everybody i think is absolutely absolutely fundamental and uh you know, we want to improve all the time. We want to be better and better and better. We want to achieve big things. We are not going to stop until we we do that. And um, it's very important, the evolution of players. Um, I'm really happy and, and have to say also with some pride, the evolution of uh, Lingard, Martial, uh, Scott McTominay, this kind of, of young uh, guys. But at the same time, you need also you need also a combination with kind of Matic, of uh, Alexis, people with with more uh, experience, with more know-how. That was before in positions where. Uh, we want to be, you know, fighting for uh, for titles, and uh, so it's very, very important addition for us. Now we have five attacking players of uh, of high quality: Mata, Rashford, Lukaku, Martial, Alexis, and this fantastic for me, and this fantastic for the uh, for the team. If the players one day they are on the bench and they don't like it, I'm happy with that.